Hey, so how are y'all doing? How has your picking been going this week in the middle of all this snow we've been having? So I've only been out um, a couple times and done just a little bit of picking, um, but I wanted to share with you what I got because some of the things that I picked up um, look like small items, but I think you can flip them and just make a really good profit on them. So let me kind of share with you. So at first, one of the first things that I picked up were these coasters, and these are fantastic, and I'm gonna tell you why because yes, there's beautiful embroidery work done there, but these are sterling. Um, so when you see these, pay attention. Sometimes um, you're gonna find kind of a um, something a little exciting and it could definitely be sterling. So my cousin used to babysit me um, growing up and I loved going to her house because her room I thought was the coolest thing ever. She had Winnie the Pooh everywhere and Ziggy. And Ziggy were these little stuffed animals and she used to tell me that as many Ziggies as she has, that's how many kids she wanted to have. Um, and y'all, she has a whole lot of kids, so, you know, anyhow. But another thing that I would see sometimes in her bedroom were funky pet rocks. And look at these. Here's a little family right there, all clustered together. And then this one is cool with these ladybugs on there. So someone is going to see these and have to have them. Um, no big bucks there, but something definitely fun and remind someone of some memories. So do not discount looking through linens. I picked up um, a set of four placemats. These are kind of quilted placemats, um, but I saw on the back the brand. And if you can see that, it is written in French. I took Spanish, not French, but it's a Valdrome. Um, so when I did comps on these, two of them are selling for upwards $50 on eBay right now. So I have a set of four there in that really pretty um, bright brick red color. So I think when I was out picking, I must have really been drawn to some bright colors because another piece I picked up is this studio um, art pottery piece here. The painting on here is just so fun with that crab on there. And then the back has the signature there. So a fun um, little appetizer piece I can really see putting, I think what I would do with this is I would serve cream cheese on there. I would put some um, shrimp over the cream cheese and then pour some cocktail sauce over that and have some crackers right there on that dish. So how's that for a little recipe from me? <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get from me on here. <laughs> Um, a really neat basket. I liked that. Okay. Um, I was just really drawn to that. I think the vintage look of that and then those, I'm going to call those tulips on there. I don't know that they're necessarily what they're supposed to be, but I just really liked this. Again, I was drawn to that red color. Now, an entire bag of little, these are, I call them whimsies, but they're made by um, Wade. And what these were used for, what they would do with these is um, the Red Rose Tea Company put these in their boxes of tea as little promotional items. And this here is, I think it's a turkey. Um, and so I, I would say there's probably 30 or more of these in this bag. This is a little seahorse. They did this uh, late 60s uh, is when they started doing them and they did it all the way up until almost, um, I think it was 2018 when they stopped doing them. And they said that they gave away over 300 million of these little whimsies um, over that whole entire time that they did that. And they vary in price, some of depending on what country um, they came from, which country made them. Some come from Canada. Um, I think the most expensive ones are from France, maybe, or England, and those are like upwards of $100 a piece. So really, I'm just going to have to go through here. I have some lighthouses in there. I see scarecrows and crabs and jack-o'-lanterns and snowmen, um, just all kinds in here. Oh, there's some peacocks. So again, this whole bag was $3. So if you think about that, um, that is going to have a nice return on it. Of course, I grabbed this bowl here. This is a simple um, kind of lace going around milk glass bowl, but I was thinking with spring coming up, um, fill this up with eggs. Um, living here in the country, I'm always looking for a fruit bowl. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyhow, I'm gonna end up putting that in my booth. I think that's gonna be something that someone is gonna enjoy grabbing. And then the final item that I picked up, like I said, it was kind of light picking over the past couple days, was this guy here, this piece of chalkware. Now, I am still trying to find him. I have found that there's like a set of pirates, but none of them look like my pirate. And he's kind of looks like Jolly Roger to me or something here. You know, that's what he, who he reminds me of. But I'm going to have to look into him a little bit more. There are no chips or cracks on this guy. He is definitely vibrant um, with his primary colors. I just love the parrot. You can see his eye. I mean, look at him. This is just a fantastic piece. So those are my finds that I have. I just have them right here on my bed. I need to clean up and get ready. Um, like I said, this is a short video, but I wanted to share with you the simple little things that I have found over the past few days. I'm excited because the weekend is here. Um, tomorrow, I am gonna be working all day at A&W Collectibles. Um, here in Virginia and having fun there, sharing my finds at my booth and helping um, all of our customers who come in. So I'm excited about the weekend. You all um, keep on picking and share with me what you're finding. Y'all take care.